There may not be a new episode of Love and Marriage Huntsville for the next few weeks as we prepare for part two or part three of their season eight. Who knows at this particular point? But Melody has been very active on her social media, specifically her TikTok and IG lives. And this time, she's alleging that possibly one of her castmates, Stormy Steel, what's up? might be or might have always had a friendship with her ex's baby's mama, also aka Coleslaw, aka the other woman, aka Ariane Curry. My God, today. Ladies. <laughs> She's presenting her proof on social media saying that allegedly this person was texting Ariane, thinking that they're texting Ariane, but it was a phone that Ariane used to have that Martel gave to his son. Welcome back to the Kempire Channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Guys, we normally do not talk about Love and Marriage Huntsville outside of our recaps, but I see all this stuff that you guys tag me and send to me in, in regards to what's going on in regards to this cast. We just did a recap of their last episode before they take a little bit of a hiatus and then we're going to get another part of their season in regards to, you know, Maurice's DUI, what's going on with everyone over there. We've heard and reported on Stormy not possibly coming back next season. Not sure if she filmed for this last part. I'm assuming she did. She'll be included in this next part of the season because we already know she was part of the girl strip and things like that. We also know um, that Melody has been actually reacting a lot. And I have to say, based off of what I've seen over the last couple of seasons, she hasn't really been this activated. So I'm assuming there's a reason. And now, slowly but sure, surely, over the last couple of weeks, we're seeing some of the allegations. And I'm just going to say it's allegations. I don't know if there's actual hard proof tying this particular phone number to Stormy. She lays it out, though. She, she lays out the way the person texts. She mentions text messages that she's had with this person, a.k.a. possibly Stormy. What's up? She also has the phone number, clearly, and the phone number is a Mississippi number. And she says she only knows one person on this cast with a Mississippi number. What's up? So she's lay, laying out this information. For those that I'm going to give you the cliff notes, but I'm just going to let you know that there are plenty of other content creators covering this story. Shout out to Aquarian TV, where we got some of our clips, Empress Radio. So there, there are quite a few people that are covering the story that will give you a lot of the information. And some of these content creators have been saying that this particular person on the cast has been doing this and has been friends with Ariane Curry way before Melody came out and said this. But when Melody comes out, because she's the star of the show, we have to talk about it. We can speculate all we want, and a lot of content creators and fans have their own speculations on the cast and people being ops and things like that. But now that Melody has gone, gotten on her platform of hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people watching, we have to talk about it. Because now she's laying out her evidence. I just want to say that. We have not been able to verify this evidence on our end for legal reasons. This is what Melody is accusing a person on her cast. Because I, I don't believe she even said the person. No, well, no, okay, no. She didn't say the person's name, but she did show video footage. Which is so funny to me that she showed the video footage that we've been talking about when we were talking about Stormy and her lawsuit with Kyle. And I, I told you, I remember seeing her post this video of her getting a Tesla truck and... Y'all, my damn job was on the floor. Like, what the fuck? Like, I'm, it's the fact that he got my dream truck less than a month after I said I loved it. Like, how you even do that? Like, it's a Tesla cyber truck. Like, what the fuck? Are you and I was like, you know, she's been spending money and da da, da. Every time she spends money, I kind of like... Look, she, she runs a multi-million dollar company. But because of what Kyle has been accusing her, Kyle is her former chief operating officer who is suing her, saying that he's owed money, 
that he was offered a partnership, 30% of Canvas Beauty. He helped get this business out of the dark when, when it had been not successful and brought it to TikTok and all of that. Fine. Well, fast forward to today. Well, technically yesterday, technically this week. Melody went on her social media laying out text messages that she received from, from this person back in 2022 and then shared the text messages that were sent to her son's phone. Today was the hey, hey. I'm just recapping before I leave. The hey, hey, I shared with you guys a message that I received um, August 14, 2022. I texted the screenshot and texted it to my phone. Here it is right here. And it says, hey, hey, no punctuation in between. Hey, hey, just like the one that came to the phone. I ended up getting my hair braided too yesterday. So I showed you guys that. Now, um... Because remember, this is the message right here that came to the phone and notice it said, hey, hey. Can y'all see it? Yeah. Hey, hey. No comma in between because <sighs> grammatically it should have been a hey, comma, hey. But anyway, that's another day for another story. Can't teach y'all y'all all that at one time. Girl, my jaw in on, you know, they meant is, is on the floor from last night's episode. But I'm so glad Destiny called her out. And so who are they trying to text? Remember, this is a person trying, thinking they're texting my ex's baby's mother. That's who they think they're texting. Are we clear on that? Because there's been a lot of stuff that y'all been, I've been seeing that's just inaccurate. They thought they were, so it's someone who's friends with my ex's mother. I mean, my ex's baby mama, not his mama. My ex's baby mama, my ex's paramour. That's who it is, okay? someone texting themselves from a mississippi number makes no sense to me like i don't see how a plus a equals z like stop it <laughs> so gosh oh jesus see that's why i could i had to get out of the class because now wait up. but i was teaching my students how to think though i ain't gonna lie my students i taught them some common sense too Whew. okay so look God dang. <laughs> Girl, my job was on the floor. So I text back and said, what you thought? I did a why you, you know, since they use a little lingo up here. So then they said, she tried to lie and blame Martel, but Destin said I was there with you. Her excuses were weak AF. Y'all know what that mean weak stuff. Got him. And I said, weak AF. <laughs> she mad because Destin is still his friend. And she has probably thought y'all were already. So why would somebody be testing themselves saying y'all were already cool? What? So I said, when you last talked to her, though, that's how it went. Oh, I need the phone for this last piece. So I hope y'all have claimed your coupon, baby, because I'm going to play this and I'm out. This is public. Um, this was something recorded on a public platform. So it's publicly been put out there. I'm sure it was already has been all over YouTube. So this is not no private of anything. So I'm going to share it with y'all. And to the person who sent me this, Thank you, because like I shared with y'all, I was still hoping like, no, this cannot be true. But then after, um, just for the, it is what it is, and it's all good. Like even with it, it's still all good. Like, fuck you, I don't rock with you anyway, and it's okay. Like it's okay. Um, and I thank God for the revelation. I thank God that I didn't even know why I started to pull back, but obviously God knew why I needed to start pulling back. Um, because that's what people forget too. God sees your heart, so he already knows what your heart on. And again, to the people just coming on, don't forget what I said. Said now make sure y'all remember to let us know what friend walked away from me with proof don't just do, 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 don't you just throw it with proof what friend walked away from me ever and what well y'all what relationship a person walked away from me too not me walked away from them i mean not them walked away i mean not me yeah not me walked away from them but they walked away from me okay so don't forget to do that to the haters and the wishes, okay? But here's the video that was sent to me. And again, y'all got all that student back. So yeah, well, I started my new master class on Monday with my new students. It's like 45 of them in there. And maybe today is day one-on-one -on -one day. And I've been on the phone with them since like 8.30 this morning. Everybody calling because today is one-on-one -on -one day. So anyway, 
um, let's start right here because this is what was sent to me. And remember, I'm watching lingo because that's what I'm just conditioned, trained to do. I'm looking at lingo, how you write stuff, gift a program. So here we go. Okay, let's watch what was sent to me. Y'all listen for yourselves. <laughs> Jaw was on the floor like what the fuck like i'm like okay do y'all want to see it one more time okay we'll do it one more time y'all my damn jaw was on the floor like what the fuck like i'm like the did y'all need to hear it one more time or not nah? are we good because y'all saw the message do y'all want to hear it one more time okay we do it one more time i think y'all see yeah Jaw was on the floor like what the fuck like i'm like okay so we're gonna go one more time to the text message and let's look at the message that came sunday thinking it's cold so far hey hey now mind you i got a text hey hey in august sorry hey hey girl my jaw is on the floor from last night's episode okay do y'all want to hear one more time or no one more time or no one more time or no we do it one more time because i know some of y'all gonna be Child, I'm trying to go as slow as I can to make it easy. Y'all, my damn jaw was on the floor. Like, what the fuck? Like, I'm gonna eat some fat. Okay, so are we all clear and good? So let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. It ain't even chess. I saw somebody said it's chess. It's not even chess. It's Monopoly. See, with Monopoly, <laughs> you see all the players on the board with Monopoly. So we kind of pass chess for real. We more no, we more so on Monopoly. Okay? Um, so there you have it. So here's the thing. If any of this is true, I I think Melody kind of already knew where she stood with a lot of people on this cast. And I think the only reason why she tries to make nice with the cast is because very much like, which is unfortunate, if you really try to have a friendship on reality television, I'm not saying it's impossible, but the probability of it lasting and staying authentic and staying tight is very hard. It's very hard. We see it all the time. It doesn't matter what reality show it is. When you're working with someone, it really becomes a working relationship, especially because it starts to show you who people really are and why they're really there. And I said to you, with all, and this is this is all tied together. When we talk about Canvas Beauty, the lawsuit with Kyle, and I said to you, I was like, why would Stormy come on the show if her, if her business was successful? Well, we found out literally on Love and Marriage Huntsville that her business had been stolen from, and she she was missing a, a lot of money, and her business was not doing well at the time. It wasn't able to fulfill orders and things like that. She said this on the show in that scene with Kyle. And I said, why would she come on the show? So it was very clear that she wanted to use the show probably to bring more attention to the brand because at the time, the brand wasn't doing well, according to her. According to her, the brand wasn't doing well at the time. So coming on this platform, and again, a lot of times, even if they were successful and they were with a lot of money, People want fame. People want to be seen. People want to be a notable person, even if they have lots and lots of money. Okay. But we knew that at the, now we know that Stormy was not in her business was not in a good place. And now that it is in a good place and she had the biggest day on on TikTok live, then it was very clear she doesn't need this platform anymore. You may have seen the footage where she was asked about the show. She, she did not want to talk about the show anymore. There are rumors that she's not returning uh, for another season. Well, she doesn't need the show anymore. She doesn't need the platform anymore. Does she? Like, what, what was the motivation behind Canvas Beauty and its success? It could have been a combination. It's hard to determine. It could have been a combination of her work with Kyle. It could have been a combination of her being a notable person now, being on Love and Marriage Huntsville, because no matter what people say about the ratings and things like that, Love and Marriage Huntsville, before Detroit, before DC, or any of the other shows on OWN, 
is it is and does do well for everyone on this cast and having your having your business on this platform definitely helps so we don't know if it was just the work that she did with kyle the platform that is tiktok the quality of her product or a combination of all of that and i know some people say well guess what now now that kyle's gone the business isn't doing well i don't know that for sure that 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 is all rumors that is all rumors but it would be pretty shocking to me that someone that you thought was your friend was actually in communication with your ex-husband's mistress let's let's call a thing a thing like no matter where Ariane and Martel are now today we know coleslaw Ariane curry as the mistress when she got with him he was a married man he was married to melody so she is the mistress and now has a child by him. And to find out that someone that you at one particular point considered a friend was in communication with her the entire time and that maybe there was a bigger plot in order to expose Melody. That is pretty daunting. And honestly, I wouldn't want to film with her. I wouldn't want to be her friend. I wouldn't want to work with her. But that also makes me wonder, is anyone else on this cast? Doing the same, some people have accused Destiny this past week of being Martel's mouthpiece when we we're talking about that respectful cheating. There we go. Respectful cheating. That all of that is Martel. Here's the thing. No matter how, how any of us feel about Melody and how she has conducted herself on the show over the years, I keep saying you can't help but say, you know what, Melody has really become a success and really spun this whole terrible situation in, in her favor. Because when you look at Martell and the musketeers, the, the Martell musketeers that follow him. <laughs> Hell no. It's like, how do you root for this man? Like everything that he does turns to crap. Everything from the businesses, from the friendships, from all of that. Some people might say that about Melody when it comes to her friendships. But when you look at what Martell, like, how do you defend Martell? Like, if there was anything defensible, you know that I would find it and I'd be like, well, he, he's not wrong here. And we've said that when there has been a moment. But Destiny climbing on this Martell Hill, now Stormy possibly being friends with Ariane Curry. This is pretty damning. This is pretty damning. But like I said, these are allegations coming from Melody. She lays out the case. And now I want to hear what you guys have to say. And your reaction to this information. Do you believe it? Do you believe that Stormy Wilson Steele is the one that Melody's referring to, even though she shows video footage of Stormy? But we know that's who she's referring to. But do you believe that Stormy and and Ariane were in some sort of plot to come for Melody and to bring possibly Ariane on the show. I mean, they've been trying for a long time. Do you think that's actually going to happen? Guys, as always, let's continue this conversation in the comment section. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching. Ooh, you bring the ladder. I got the fuse, you make a fire, I'll add the fuel, follow my lead it, just watch the shoes, gotta turn the heat up.